Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the RAM cartridge 1 megabyte. This cartridge was made by Zenon Rakotsi from Poland and it's a cartridge that is based on SRAM and has a battery to back up the data so you can unplug the cartridge and take it somewhere else and the data will still be main, be, be kept on the on the cartridge. This there were two there were two pre previous version to this cartridge 128k and 256k. This is the 1 megabyte. You can switch between 128k and 256k mode by pushing this button here. The other button is to switch between write and read only so you can upload data and then switch it to read only memory and the reset button. The main difference between this cartridge and other flash cartridges is that it does not require you to do any work on a PC or Mac in order to upload data into this cartridge. Simply plug in the cartridge, load the system disk that comes with its cartridge and then you can copy files or cartridge ROM images into this RAM card and uh, work with it. So let me show you how it works. Let's start by putting the cartridge into the Atari computer and let's put the system disk that was inserted into this floppy drive. The system disk is based on a DOS that was written by Stefan Dorendorf from Germany and later on modified to operate with the RAM card by the guys in Poland. And what we're going to do first we're going to try and load a ROM image, a, a real actual cartridge ROM image into the RAM card. There are two of them here. One is the River Raid 8K ROM and the other one is Hero 16K ROM. To do that, we're going to start a tool called MyCart. And the MyCard is a tool that allows you to select 8K or 16K, load and save data, or you can also even edit the data here. If you want to develop your own cartridge, you can upload sectors or raw data into here and then modify the run and initialization address to test a cartridge that you are now developing yourself. We're going to try and read first the reverate from a file. We are loading the River Raid ROM image into the 8K area of the cartridge ROM file. It's automatically uh, detected the cartridge uh, initialization and run address. As I said, you can edit that if you want to. But what we're going to do, uh, we're going to uh, go here. And we're going to boot the cartridge after we uploaded the ROM data into it. Now it tells us to switch the cartridge into a read mode, so we're going to push the, this button to change from write mode into a read mode. And then we are playing now the River Raid game. So actually we are we turn in we turn this RAM cartridge into a River Raid cartridge where we can take somewhere else and play River Raid. A very easy process, and that's how would you also do with the um Hero game, 16K. So it can you can upload any 8K or 16K into this RAM cartridge. But the RAM cartridge itself does not only allow you to um, load cartridges, ROM cartridges into it. It allows you to do more. So let's try and flip the switch into a write mode again, and let's boot the system disk. Again, you are booting the system disk from a floppy. Now, the first thing you want to do, we want to format this cartridge. So let's format the cartridge. The cartridge automatically is being initialized by this operating system as drive eight. So we're going to format the cartridge. And if you're going to switch to drive eight, 
you see now that this is the cartridge that is being formatted and we have a, a 128k a, a free space on it because we are now in 128k mode so let's do let's do one thing let's try and copy stuff into this uh, formatted uh, cartridge area let's do let's copy dos So we are copying the DOS from this cartridge, from, from this system, this is gonna floppy into the cartridge. And that means that next time that we can set the cartridge to boot from DOS directly from the cartridge itself. If you go to drive eight now, you can see that we have put DOS there. And we can do more, we can copy more files. So let's try and go again. But to make the copy easy, oh, I'm stuck here, keep. Okay, let's try, oh sorry, I got the key here stuck, so um, let's try and run a software called Atari Commander, It'd be easier to use that. Your drive eight. Let's copy. There are two tools. This is the DOS we copied. We, we would like also to copy um, it, it, the initialization tool, which I will demonstrate later, and a tool called Switch. Let's also copy the uh, Atari Commander and the MyCart software. We are just selected to copy these files into the um, cartridge itself. So uh, what we're doing now is basically copying files that are on floppies into the cartridge. Okay, we are done. Let's try and load. Let's put another floppy here with some more files. Let's load a game. Let's copy a game. We are copying a game into the cartridge. So once we have it on the cartridge, we can boot into DOS. We could uh, and, and run any of the software that we have copied there and they would load instantly. Okay, we copy that game. We can also copy Mac 65. We can also copy Turbo Basic and some Turbo Basics software. So we can have Turbo Basic or Mac 65 or our assembler on the cartridge where we can uh, use Drive 8 to compile our code, test our code, and take that development software somewhere else we want to play or to show. And the battery will keep the data maintained on the cartridge even when it's if it, even if we unplug the cartridge out of the computer okay we're just copying two more files okay we are done so now the last step that we want to do is we want to run the software called init, the initialization software. And that software 
will basically allow us to create kind of like a boot menu for all the files that we have copied into the cartridge. So let's start, this is the DOS. This is the initialization software. This is the switch software, the Atari Commander. the MyCart tool that we demonstrated earlier, the game, Mac 65, Turbo Basic, this is a, a game written in Turbo Basic, I'm just going to put that in the menu as well, Click yes. Now it tells us to switch again, push the read and write and change it to a read. And we can now boot the cartridge. Great. So now we have a cartridge that you can take anywhere. And every time you plug it into Atari and boot the Atari, you will get into this menu where you can select and load a file from this menu or push A to go into DOS. and switch sorry to drive eight and then you have all this software on the cartridge that we can go ahead and play with let's try and load the game again i'm going to boot the cartridge and let's try and load the game uh, that i copied here called guard Try to load it from DOS. Let's wait a little bit longer. Sweat. Go to DOS. Let's load the name. Oh, sorry, flip to drive eight. Yeah. And we just loaded the game very quickly from the SRAM on the cartridge itself. Let me find a joystick here. And show you how it's playable with the joystick. Well, joysticks are packed away. Anyway, <clears throat> it's a nice game with parallax scrolling. You want to reset, just push the reset button and you go back to DOS. Again, switch to drive eight. And let's load Turbo Basic. Try and list drive eight. So that's what on drive eight. Again. Let's load. We are loading a, a ready pre-saved game from the cartridge and we can go ahead and play, play the game. So this is the RAM cartridge. There is the third tool that calls switch that will allow you to switch between write and read. 
So if now we, if you are on a read mode and you're going to switch into a write mode, we just click yes. And now it allows us to switch into write mode where you can go ahead and copy files into it. So if you write, um, if you program something into a basic, you can switch to write mode and then you can save your file on the cartridge and take it somewhere else. Um, that's it. That's, uh, that's the RAM cartridge. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, keep uh, enjoying your Atari. Until next time. Bye.